<clears throat> hey guys, Aaron Farmer here with my sugarfreejourney.com and um, it's time for Weight Loss Wednesday. So this morning uh, I am at 240.6 pounds. Um, and this is the end of my month long experiment in carnivory, the carnivorous diet. So I kind of wanted to talk about what I've learned from that, what you know, what you might need to know if, if you're going to do uh, an experiment in this. So um, a couple things. First of all, one good thing about carnivory is that it is stupid simple, like just amazingly simple. I usually fast through breakfast, so my lunch consists of some eggs and bacon or eggs and sausage. I pretty much eat that every day. And then uh, my dinner is whatever meat that I'm making for the rest of the family. I usually make them, you know, sides of, of uh, vegetables, but I just only eat the meat. And I probably eat twice as much meat as they do. So, like last night, everyone got a pork chop. I get, I eat two pork chops, and um, so, man, it's it's easy. It's it's easy, easy, easy. And I could definitely see, you know, if it was just me and my wife that I was cooking for, or if it was just me that I was cooking for, uh, doing this just to make my life easier, it would it would be it would be good. Um, so there were a few things that weren't quite as positive. So number one, and I talked about this at the beginning, I was really hoping that I would be able to find, that, that this would help my blood pressure. It did nothing for my blood pressure. My blood pressure is still really high. Um, so whatever's causing my blood pressure to be you know as elevated as it is, it's not eating vegetables. <laughs> not losing weight. I mean, it's not anything. It's not anything that I've done. I've done so many experiments, you know, to, to try to do my blood pressure, but it is multi-drug resistant and resistant to virtually every uh, kind of dietary intervention. Uh, however, I do want to say this real quick. Um, I just did a podcast interview with Tro Collegian, and uh, so that'll be out in a few weeks, and he gave me some things, some other things that I could test. Um, I don't have the money to to do any of the tests right now, so my wife and I are, are starting to save up now for it. Uh, it would be about five hundred dollars to do all, everything that he uh, suggested. Um, I just want to throw this out there: if you do like the work that we do at My Sugar Free Journey, if you go to the podcast, or if you go to the the web page, on the left hand side, there's a PayPal donate link. Um, and usually the money that goes in there helps the, you know defray the costs of the of the podcast. But right now, if you'd like to donate anything, doesn't matter, you know, big, small, whatever, uh, that'll go towards what we're saving to get these tests run to see if uh, if there's some very specific things that might be keeping my blood pressure elevated. I'd like to get it handled sooner rather than later, but you know, I just I, I'm, it's getting frustrating. I, you know, you would think that I would be able to, but doctors can't figure it out. Um, no dietary intervention can figure it out. No blood pressure medication can figure it out. So the carnivore diet couldn't fix it. So I just I just want to throw that out there. If you'd like to help donate to defray some of that cost, it's going to cost, like I said, about $500 to get everything done that Tro Collegian said. Uh, and, uh, you know, I just can't do that right now. A couple other things. My energy level has come back a little bit. So I've talked about how my new work schedule uh, requires me to get up at three o'clock in the morning and I'm just not a morning person. And so usually I get off at noon and I'll come home and man, I don't want to move. I don't want to do anything. I, you know, I just have no energy that's resolved itself a little bit. I have more energy and, and part of that is because I've really, uh, made a point of trying to go to bed earlier than, uh, you know, cause I was going like to bed at like nine or 10 or even 11 and only getting, you know, four or five hours of sleep, and, and it was really being rough on me. So I've really made a point of going to bed at, you know, about seven or eight, although last night I went to bed at nine, so uh, it's not perfect yet. Um, so I don't know if that has anything to do with the with the carnivore diet, but, I, you know, I just want to throw that out there. I have not been in, um, exercising as much as I, as, I, as I used to, which is strange because I've never been a big exerciser, but I've usually done it because, you know, I like the, the feeling that I get afterwards. But, man, this month I have not wanted to exercise. I just, I just have not wanted to exercise. Um, the other thing that really amazes me is how firmly my weight set point is set at 240 pounds. 
because you know when I started the month off, I was about two fifty because I had gained some weight uh, over Christmas. But I started the carnivore diet. Within two weeks, my weight had got back down to two hundred and forty pounds, and then nothing. It hasn't moved at all, and I was really expecting you know some significant weight loss. Um, because I wasn't, I'm not really eating anything. Yeah, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm eating a very small amount of food. Not because I'm trying to restrict calories, but because you just, it's hard to overeat on a carnivore diet, especially if you're eating a lot of fatty meat. But no, you know, so I'm really, really amazed at how at how stuck at 240 pounds I am. I mean, my body has really done everything that that uh, it can do, I, I guess to keep me at 240 pounds and it just will not budge and I think that's interesting I think and I'm wondering if part of that is because of the high blood pressure because you know my body's always in the state of you know stress um, because uh, because my blood pressure is kept high um, and I'm and I'm wondering if that has anything to do with it but uh, it is impressive how firm that set point is is at 240 pounds. I, I feel like I could, you know, I feel like I could fast for a month and I would still be at 240 pounds. That that's how firm that 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 uh, that that set point is. But anyway, so that's it. Uh, carnivore diet mostly positive. It's enjoyable. It's not as bland or as boring as as I thought it might be. Um, I didn't really miss. I didn't really miss you know uh, uh, vegetables all that much. Except for the only vegetable I really miss is when I eat steak. I usually like to eat steak with uh, onions and mushrooms. I did kind of miss that, but the other stuff, the Brussels, the you know, the the carrots, the um, you know, the broccoli and cauliflower uh, that that we were eating, the cauliflower mash that we were eating, eh, I didn't really miss it. I, I was fine with it either way. Um, so that's it. That's you know, that's how the month went. Um, you know, it was kind of a bust as far as weight loss goes, but it was an interesting experiment regardless. Um, so please let me know how, how you did this month. I'd love to know. You can leave a uh, comment in, on the YouTube channel or you can come over to the blog. And uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, please, you know, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. I'd love to, to hear from you guys. All right. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.